Doing this again. I hate it when it does this. Like for me, the game, the game sound, the menu sound has continued into the game. It's the second time I've seen it do this. It's very disconcerting, to say the least. I'm wondering if I should just found on that carbon, but I'd like to find some aluminum first. Let's check over here. I'm a little nervous about this map because it doesn't look like a very pleasant map at all. All right, there's some aluminum. It's at least usable, so I think I'm just gonna go with this. Oh, come on! Give it to me. Ah, forget you. I am so gonna have to goon squad that. All right, at least we know. At least we know we have to goon squad it. All right, I'm tempted to just spend my money on glass immediately. And we'll wait. We'll wait for the carbon and the aluminum, probably for the most part. We might have to buy a little aluminum, right? We didn't get good aluminum immediately. And unfortunately, there was decent aluminum here, so we can maybe grab another one if we have to. But in our haste in dealing with all this other stuff, we ended up with not the best aluminum. I don't know if we go here or here. It's very awkward. It's interesting. Oh, the noise finally went away, so that's good. Alright, that should actually be enough carbon to upgrade. Uh, there's a good silicon tile over there. Water is kind of important, and there's like two really good water tiles, and I want them. So we need to actually push for this upgrade. Well, all these new people. I don't know I'm actually just going to claim there, there, and there. If I can get away with it, because man, that's really good water. And there's not a lot of water on this map, so even though this is kind of like flooding the water market doing this temporarily, I'm not sure I even care. Buy back into glass quickly. There we are. Their services to the highest bidder. All right, I got the two ridiculous waters. Two. Now I need so many goon squads that it's not even funny. Three. We can keep betting on this for a little while. I'm not too concerned about it, but you know, it's worth something. Especially because there's a lot of something like aluminum to steal. All right, eight thousand. I may let it go for eight. I'm not overly concerned about it. There's no steel to take. Pirates. I hate those filthy bandits. Of course it went down on my carbon. I should have expected that from Herbert. Uh, oh well. Okay. Let's go ahead and push for the goon that I'm particularly worried about with my carbon. Even though it did cost us our glass stockpile, I think it's still the right call. Oh well. Water should be coming in fairly fairly quickly at this point once we've got both of these pumps down and they've got their adjacency bonuses functional. That's going to be quite a bit of income in the short term and I'm hoping we can use it to at least hit HQ level 3 and get down something well, valuable like a couple reactors. Nice. Some power, you know, you get the general idea. Just stuff. Scientific colony <sighs> this is so depressing. It's like every single time I don't take the pirates, they will land on me. It just seems to be a rule these days. It's like, oh yeah, you got pirated because you didn't take the pirates. It's like, but the pirates weren't worth that much. Well, apparently they were to you, sucker. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. Yeah, fuel might be pretty important in this game. We're all shipping reasonable distances. At least the two of us are shipping fair distances, right? I have to decide. Yeah, wind turbines look good. I mean, there's just so many spots for wind turbines, it's really hard to pass them up. Okay. Pirates aren't done yet, but they are taking a quick little break. Oh, that's a big aluminum cell. Do I push for... Okay, I've got another goon squad bought up. I'm just going to drop it here. Asimov has also decided to just collect a ton of water. I guess he just really wanted those tiles, but man, did it destroy both of our profits off that quite effectively. Thankfully, I think I have enough glass to upgrade. I can't throw down food, and I can't even come close to it, but nobody's gotten electrolysis down yet. Okay, Clark's just moving into a little bit now, but that's not very much. Frankly, we have power to put down, which is probably what we're going to do. A little power and then some electrolysis if we can. Black I'd love to use the black market more, but I think the upgrade's more crucial at the moment. How many people are bringing in silicon? Why does Herbert have so much silicon coming in? That's just awkward to me. I don't get that one at all. We're going to have to wait on this. We can't afford to, like, pay 
for anything right now because we just don't have the money. Well, I guess we can we can pay off we can sell some carbon, right? We can sell a little carbon. May as well bid on that. At least get them to fight over it a little bit. Come on, it's worth more than that. I don't really want it, but I don't want to let it go for super cheap either. I think I have to let it go for 12,000 because I really can't afford 14,000. And I really don't want the stupid thing, honestly. Do I just go straight into power or do I just get enough power that I'm not dying? I think I might just have to go hard into power, but I'm really worried about getting shut out by a power surge, you know? Because I don't have any income by going into power. I would need reactors in order to actually be making money, is the thing. This guy founding here completely ruined my day, because I can't put anything next to my base at all. So I'd love to go harder into power, but this just kind of has to stop some of the debt from flowing in. Which we definitely turn off these at this point, right? They're costing so much money, it's insane. Just in power alone, they're costing so much money, it's insane. And then I think I need to make these reactors just so I have money coming in at all, right? Then I can use that to push to a new claim, potentially. Because they're making, I mean, they're making $74 a second. They're not too bad. I can get a new claim. I can get another reactor down off that, potentially. Or I can actually get some power to start paying off debt, right? Because I still have debt flowing in quite effectively right now. Just keep selling this stuff. I think a reactor is the right call, though. Like, there's not a lot of reactors down at this point. There's still all kinds of water flowing into this guy. Carbon's still kind of okay in terms of making money. It's not great, but it's not doing horribly either. I really would like to scrap something like this and put down power as well, actually. We have enough silicon. We should put a solar panel down for sure. We could even think about putting solar panels on our water pumps, but I don't know if that's actually a good idea because we are leaking water at the moment. Okay, black market's back online. We're going to take another claim off of just the fact that we have money, right? I could throw down another electrolysis reactor. I don't know if that's the best call. I think I want to start diversifying at this point. And power is still mega expensive because, man, did we all just destroy all of the costs on all of our resources. All right, 10 seconds until I can put up a goon. I'll look at upgrading after that, I think. And then possibly moving into glass or food, depending on, you know, whatever strikes me. All right, goon squad is down. Now we can look at upgrading. Chem shortage, we'll just buy into that. I don't think a lot of people have the money to put into this effectively like we do. Claim auction is very, very nice. We can definitely try and make use of that. Water is still a dollar. I'm just gonna buy some. Because why is water a dollar? Water is so a dollar! That's insane. Why is water so a dollar? Who, who is selling? Why are you selling this much water, Asimov? I'll let it go for 18. Alright, buy into Kim some more. Buy into Kim some more, because the shortage is coming. There we go, that's better. Powers should be doing a fairly good job of paying off our debt slowly. Another another little bit of power would be nice, but you know, can't always get what you want. Oh, finally water is not a dollar. And, oh, look, our $20,000 has turned into $40,000 or so. Surprise. Yep, somebody wanted the mutiny. Thankfully, we goon squatted it. We knew it was coming. Another goon squad would be rather expensive, but it might be necessary because somebody's playing with nukes this game. So, yeah. Let's do it. We do not want to get nuked out at all. Okay. That's a lot of that. I could just go straight for food. It's not the worst idea. I need to, like, goon squad this area as well if I do this, but... Yeah, glass is expensive, but look at food! Look at how insane food is, and nobody's in food. This guy's just in a reactor that frankly needs to get power surged if I can ever afford the black market time to do that. Asimov's dying in his corner to power. 
expansive colony Because he's just been throwing down steel mills everywhere. I've been avoiding selling off carbon most of the time, because obviously I have the better control of the market in carbon. Look at my food income. It's ridiculous. There. Now I don't have his stock, I can start going after Clark too, because nobody has money right now, and everybody just has massive amounts of debt. We caught a dirty rat trying to break our stuff. Alright, yep, somebody tried to nuke me. Called it. Now we just want to try and finish the game before it's even relevant that I'm trying to get nuked at this point. All right. Okay, he just mute needed it back. That's fine, because now we can just do this. I mean, I know nighttime is coming, but I was kind of planning on doing that anyway. And it should last for quite some time. On the other hand, maybe I shouldn't have done it, because I'm planning to buy the guy in a moment here. And then I'm going to end up with a bunch of frozen buildings. So that wasn't particularly well thought out in a lot of ways. Superconductor sounds like fun. If I'm going to buy the guy who has a bunch of solar panels next to him. On the other hand, if I can just drive this up to $20,000 of debt, it makes him a lot easier to buy anyway. Yeah, I see all your solar panels. Alright, there we go. What kind of benefit is he going to get off that? Almost none, because nighttime's almost here, and then I'm planning for him to be dead by the time nighttime is over. So good luck, man. Let me know how that goes for you. Yeah, it's about what I thought. Well, we have a lot of power production now. I'm not sure we need to get the down another wind turbine. Uh, can we turn these back on? Yeah, we can turn these back on. Nice. Good, good, good. Where are you making money? You're probably making money off glass primarily. It's not good money, but it is some money. So let's hit that. Where's your income? Uh, that's mine, actually. Okay. I could just nuke this. Surplus on Kim's is kind of whatever. Unfortunately, my food, some of it is frozen out. Other bits are still online, so that's good. I could consider using... Oh, I could put down more food, actually. There's just this one little farm here that needs friends. There we are. Alright, Herbert, how much money do you have? Oh, 15,000. That's actually impressive. Asimov is sitting on 30,000, so that's way more scary. So I might just want to buy out Asimov and then go after Herbert. Should work out okay. I have a glass furnace. More importantly, I have these solar panels now. Now, they don't have superconductor, which would have been nice. Would have been nice to have superconductor, but frankly, I'm making 800 a second on power, so... That's just kind of is what it is. Okay, silicon short's fine. We can definitely use that. Goodbye. Shark bait, and then Dobbs, who tried to take my spot, and then got dead. That's just, that's all there is to it. He tried to take my spot and got dead. Not buying into this, because obviously we're sitting on, you know, 700 silicon, so why bother? I uh, could do this just for fun. Just a show of dominance. Oh no, he blew mine up, why? Alright guys, this is a fairly simple first game. Fairly simple, fairly clean, fairly easy. I had a good found, a lot of people didn't have good founds. And then I used mine and they didn't. I don't know what happened here. Like, this looks like it might have been a bad found because, like, a, a user error found, right? Because it feels like iron would have naturally been a lot more iron here. And then maybe it would have been easier to position the scientific colony like back one step, right? So you have a triangle and even a diamond potential. Six. And that didn't happen for whatever reason. Going to spell words with these claims. <laughs> we can see what's happened here is Herbert's having a bad day. Herbert, a.k.a. Dobbs. So we're just going to steal all his stuff and then buy him out. Well, that was a fairly simple first game. Not, not too difficult. 
Let's let's be honest. Dobbs killed himself at the start of the game by trying to compete with us in a found. And A, we were host. B, we landed a second before he did. So he got himself in a lot of trouble. And then he actually claimed the incorrect tiles as well. He got back into the game a little bit on power. He sold almost as much as we did. So that's impressive in and of itself. And everybody else didn't put down power and died. GG.